What is going on guys? Welcome to the video. My name is Vincent and in today's video I'm going to share with you three signs that you are a higher value person and I know we shouldn't compare to other people but we all know that what people think of us is really important and these three signs will really separate you from other people because when you people know you have these signs they will perceive you as a higher value person. So let's get the obvious one out of the way. The first one is you need to have goals and ambitions. It sounds really obvious, isn't it? It because like when someone has goals and ambitions, it's just attractive. Even for me, if I see a girl that has goals and big ambitions, it is really attractive. And it is not just because of the attractiveness or the attraction itself that make people perceive you as higher value. But when you know that you have goals and ambitions or when you talk to someone that have a big goals and ambitions that make you feel like you're intimidated, it just somehow psychologically, psychologically make you think that those kind of people just higher value than you just because they have a big dreams and they have a big ambitions and goals that they're going forward to and they're trying to achieve. And it just make you think that, especially if you're someone who don't have one, it just make you think that, whoa, this person has so much that they want to do and I don't even know what to do. And don't get me wrong, I don't say about getting your life figured out already because most people in the fact don't. Like myself, I'm still trying to figure it out. I'm still in the process, try new things, try everything. And that's the key. If you don't have and, or if you're not able to say that you have a big goals or ambitions that you're going to because maybe you don't really know what you want, you don't really know what you like, then I really want to help you. Like I make a worksheet down in the description below in the first link, you can click it out, it's free. Because I think the first step of figuring out your ambitions and your goals is to know what you like and you don't like. This is the first step I actually took back in my high school when I want to decide what major I take. And it's really important because this kind of little things that we do since kid until now, it's kind of fill the puzzle. So if you pay attention, you kind of gravitate towards what you like and you kind of ditch what you don't like. And in the end, that's what matters. Like it, everything down to what do you really like to do. Because if you are told to do something and you don't like to do it, then there's no point. So just click the link down in the descriptions below. I created a PDF for you. You can, it's gonna take time. No worries, no rush. Because figuring out this kind of thing is a marathon and not a sprint. You don't have to figure it out like by next week or next month or, or about what do you like to do. It's gonna take a while. It's even take me every month I try something new. It, that's what matter. If you, if you don't think that you're able to say people that you want to be this, you want to do that because you still don't know, just say that, oh yeah, I don't really know yet, but I am trying, Let's maybe I'm trying music, I'm trying videos, or maybe I'm trying architecture, I'm trying business. Because what people trying to see when they talk to you is just if you are trying to do something or not. What you want to be when you talk to someone and what you want to be mentally it's just that you know you are keep on trying to figure yourself out, you keep on trying to be better and instead of just stuck in somewhere the same position and you don't even want, don't even care to try to do anything. Alright. Sign number two is you have high EI or emotional intelligence. So emotional intelligence, in my opinion, is something that's really overrated just because a lot of people talking about it but no one's really do it or like people don't really care about it. And EI or emotional intelligence is basically how you can manage your emotions, how you can be more like mature with your emotions because you know, when you have a more mature type of emotions, it's easier for you to make relationship or even make friends with other people because they see you as more mature people and they know that like the first point, you have close ambitions and they just overall like you. But what I think it's deeper is that how you react to something. Let's say you have anxiety or you have a depression maybe even. And how do you react to that is really depends on your emotional intelligence because the better you are at it the more you can do it basically 
So there is one time back in my probably like a couple months ago in the Skytrain station, there's a woman come up to me, a stranger basically, and he just called me names and called me like all those dirty words. And at that moment, it's like so shocked. It's so like, what the hell has is happening? Instead of me need to confront her and ask her like what's going on, the best thing that I can do is just smile at her and just let let it go. I just walk in and continue with my day because why why would I waste my time with this kind of moment? Like so, sign number three is that you have a growth social circle because undoubtedly social circle is something that's really important in our life. We are bound to hang out with people and the problem with that is I think human being we naturally just hang out with objectively not good people like I have a lot of friends who like pressure me to drink pressure me to smoke and objectively speaking either if you support it or not I, do, I don't really care but you know that it's not good it's facts and if you hang out with people like this I'm not saying it's bad because some of them are pretty good the dangerous thing when you hang out with a lot of people like this is that you start to get their character traits and you start to become them there's a saying of you are the average of five people that you're closest with and this is so true imagine if I keep on hanging out with people who keep on drinking and smoking one day I will follow them and it's true because whenever like I see some of my friends did stuff and they ask me like why do can't, they can't stop it I, I, I just ask them who they hang out with and it proves it's all and the bigger dangerous things is it's become you this character has become you and now when you want to break that habit break that circle and you want to improve your life you want to become you want to meet someone that's kind of like more health more high value and like more I don't know just overall better you're going to start to present this with them for example if you're used to get drunk and then you go out with your new friends and you got drunk it's of course you, you can tell it by just the way I say it that it's not good for you. Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap it up. Shout out to both of these guys. Yo, Corona bro? Corona. <laughs> <laughs> for helping me shoot the video. Their Instagram will be here and link down in the description if you want to follow. So make sure you implement the three signs even. To implement it, like if you haven't got any of them, you could obviously work on it and get through it. So thank you guys so much for watching. These are the three signs. If you don't have them, make sure to work on them. And I'll see you again next Saturday. Day. Hey, racist. I'm black. So to sum up what I'm going to say. This will be the three. That one can be a blooper, though. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's coming to me and I said, You bitch, motherfucker, and I was like, I was like, I'm gonna be like, I just, uh, You know, you know, those memes that. Okay. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs>